Welcome everyone. So I want to go over how this company right here went from around 300 in monthly organic search traffic to over 6,000 in just a couple of weeks. I want to break down exactly what they did, how they're doing it and why they're doing it and how you can do it too, giving you a bunch of blueprints and tutorials so you can follow along. Okay, so let's break it down. Uh, their niche is um, a marketing company. So they're a healthcare marketing company. Now, again, they're not a healthcare company. They're a marketing business that does marketing for healthcare companies. So a, a very specific niche. Okay. Now, before I go into any of this stuff right here, I want to mention that uh, every time you see these graphs, and there's a little annotations about the links that were built. So start building links, 46 DR40 links per month since February last year, right? This doesn't necessarily mean that only links were built because as you know, right, SEO has three main pillars, right? There's on-page SEO, there's off-page SEO, and there's technical SEO. Off-page SEO is essentially basically link building, right? And you see this and you think, oh, I just have to build links and I, I'm going to rank number one and get a bunch of traffic. No, right? You need to tackle and properly do on-page SEO and technical SEO as well. Now, if you don't know what these are, right, I recommend you watch this video right here and this one right here, which is a, a two-hour course, you know, a one-and-a-half-hour course that breaks down exactly all, what, what this stuff is in, in, in super depth. Uh, this one is leveraging AI. This one is not leveraging AI if you're a bit more conservative and don't want to leverage AI tools. I suggest you watch this one. If you do want to leverage AI tools, go watch this one. Again, I'll leave links for these two in the description down below, okay? And if you want to like, learn more about link building, I recommend you watch this one. It's a 50-minute video breaking down what links are, how they work, how you can get them step by step by step. So you can basically get these exact links that did this, right? Uh, you can build these exact links by just following this tutorial, which again, I'll leave down below in the description. But again, don't think that this was just solely with links, right? A lot of content was done and I'll go over in a second here how it was done, okay? So this is the traffic basically again, a lot of the keywords, right, increased uh, in, in the in the SERPs and the traffic of course increased from around 400 to 6,000, which is, I mean, it, it is amazing, right? Now, granted, a very important thing which I have here, um, which ties in with the, with the very first step in this blueprint, which is choosing the keywords, right? But then again, you gotta find money keywords because traffic can be a vanity metric, right? This right here, right? This 6K can mean zero dollars in revenue, right? You're not necessarily looking for traffic numbers. You're looking for revenue, right? Because you can be ranking for the, you can be ranking and having like a million searches a month, but if nobody's buying, it's quite pointless. So you need to go after money keywords, right? And I, 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 um, I talk about this a lot, but basically what a money keyword is, is a keyword that has buying intent behind it. I give, and I give this example all the time, but let's say, for example, I have an iPhone repair business. People come into my business, right? First, they come into my website, right? And then they come into my business to repair their phones, right? But my website can be ranking for keywords like how to repair an iPhone or keywords, for example, like, like where to repair an iPhone or how much does it cost to repair an iPhone now. The keyword how can, let's say it has 10,000 searches per month, right? However, the sum of these, the volume of these two keywords has only 1K. Now you might think, oh, I'm just going to rank for this one, 10,000 searches per month. However, the, the uh, buying intent behind someone searching for how is much less than the buying intent from someone searching for where or how much. Because someone searching for where or how much, right, it's pre-imposed that they want to find someone to do it for them. While someone searching for how, most likely they just want to pay someone to do it for them, right? And you can apply this exercise to any niche, any business. And so you got to go out, go after high buying intent keyword. It's not necessarily the traffic, okay? And if you want to do an exercise, I, I covered this before, right? Do your keyword matrix, right? Which in the y-axis, you have the buying intent. And in the x-axis, you have the traffic. And of course, the traffic, the competition. Make a list of all your keywords. Sprinkle them here. And don't target keywords here nor here. Again, if you want to learn more about this, check my previous video. I think so this, this one's a previous one. I'll go over all this, that stuff, okay? And also, of course, check these courses because I do cover that in these courses. So again, once, of course, they have their keywords, right? It was time to create the content. Now... Again, as you know, there, there are basically two ways to create content. You can do it manually, which is slow, or you can do it with AI, which is fast. Now, again, nothing wrong with doing it manually. Again, I have this course right here, which teaches you all you need to know about SEO manually, and of course, this one that using AI. But again, you can do it manually. The thing is that if, and I like to give this analogy, if this is you right here, and this is me, okay? We are in a table building competition. So the goal is to take a disassembled table and assemble it, right? You have to do this, I have to do this too. However, you are doing it with your hand, right? You're tying up the legs to the top of the table with your hand. And I have this little handy tool, right, to do the same thing. Now what's gonna happen is that, yeah, both of us are gonna like build a table, right? The table's gonna get built. However, I'm gonna be able to do it so much faster. So I can only, I can, I can do it faster and I can build more tables. So again, the end product can be the same, but using this tool, 
meaning AI, this is an analogy for AI, the tool, right? Using a tool like AI that allows you to do stuff so much faster, and oftentimes better than humans, right? It makes you achieve your goal so much faster. So I do it with AI, right? They did it with AI too. This is basically just a, a screenshot from, uh, from Journalist AI. If you don't know what Journalist AI is, this is this amazing software that I own, of course, uh, that allows you to write SEO-optimized content, publish it to your site, has relevant videos, relevant links, relevant, relevant images, a bunch more stuff, right? But again, humans can do this. You can do this. It just takes you a ton of time because you've got to source the images, you've got to write the article, you've got to find places to add relevant links in, both internal links and external links, find relevant videos to add to your article. It takes a lot of time. Then you've got to publish it, uh, then you've got to syndicate it to social media platforms. It takes a lot of time again. Now, once that's done, because again, you, you can write an article, you can write a brief, you can use, use AI to write a brief, right? It's time to optimize it for SEO. And again, this traffic won't come just off of off page SEO, just off of backlinks. It will only come if you properly do your on page SEO and technical SEO too. And on page SEO essentially is, and it essentially means everything that's on the site, what's written there, how it's written, right? The way you convey your message. If it's as your keyword sprinkled in there, and I give you here a couple of examples, right? How to make your content optimized for SEO. So add relevant images in the videos, right? This tells Google, okay, this piece of content is relevant for XYZ keyword because they even went through the hassle, I guess, to putting images, videos that are relevant, right? Sprinkling your keywords in the body of the text, right? Um, give users instantaneous answers. This is more or less tied with UI and UX because you want people to click your article and not have to scroll to find uh, what the answer is. So that's why usually I just give them key takeaways at the top, right? And again, if they want to know more, you just go and scroll down, right? Um, then, of course, adding your basic stuff, adding your focus keyword in the title, in the meta description, in the content, in the featured image alt text, and invest in UI and UX uh, and a clear CTAs. What I mean by this, right, invest in UI and UX is if your article looks ugly, right, people will just assume, they just, don't, they just won't read it because the perceived value of something, like people do read books by their cover, right? Do you judge books by their cover? So you're, you need to have a good appearance in your article or decide where it's supposed to. So invest a lot of time in UI and UX, very important. And of course, adding clear CTAs, right? The whole goal of writing blog posts is to get people to buy something from you. So add links, add a, a box at the bottom with a clear CTA to get an offer, get a quote, whatever. Add clear CTAs, very important. I cannot stress this enough, right? Again, you want to maximize the number of, the number of traffic you have right here. So if just adding a couple of calls to action will increase the conversion rate of all these 6,000 people, even if just by 0.1%, right? That's a couple of thousand dollars uh, every, at the end of each year. So very, very important, right? Again, I know I just touched on this a bit surface level, but again, watch this tutorial right here, two-hour course uh, that gives you in-depth on all this stuff, how to do proper on-page SEO, okay? So watch that if you want to learn more about uh, that. Again, I just want to go cover sort of quickly here uh, what these guys are doing and how they achieve uh, such great results, okay? Now, moving on to um, social syndication. Now, this is more important now than ever, right? syndicating your content to social media. So take your blog post, push it to Facebook, push it to Twitter, push it to LinkedIn with dedicated posts, right? This is about a, about a Botox, right? So the, the AI generated a caption uh, tailored to what the article is about, right? And again, you don't need to use AI, just way quicker, right? Because you can use AI to connect your site with Facebook, your site with Twitter, your site to link with, LinkedIn, sorry. And as soon as you publish a blog post to your site, it will automatically publish to all your social media platforms. Like with it, with just basically no, not even a click of a button, it's just going to be automatic. So that's pretty cool, right? So that's basically what they did. And these last two, of course, were the two steps essentials. Uh, I only mentioned one, uh, which was the social syndication, but of course, indexing as well, which is the other one is very important because if your content isn't indexed, uh, I mean, it's never going to rank because it's not going to be indexed in Google's index. So uh, go to Google Search Console and submit it for indexing uh, if you haven't done already with the new content. Um, so yeah, that's very important. Then building backlinks. Again, if you want to learn more about how these backlinks were built, watch this one right here. And But essentially, right, when you're building backlinks, one of the most important things is anchor text. The little text you click, right, this is an anchor text right here. The little, the little text you click to go to the other site, right, this is very important, right? It's, I, I, I argue that it, as, as, it is as important, sorry, as the links you're building, right? The anchor text. And use this, is, use this as a rule of thumb, right? What I do is I do 70% branded anchors, 20% naked URLs, 5% generic, five, less than 5% match, exact match, anchor, sorry, partial max match, and less than 1% exact match anchors. Here's an example. So let's say my site is a, 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 for a plumbing business in Dallas, so my main keyword will be 
people number in Dallas of the keyword that I want to rank for the most, right? If I rank first for this keyword, it would be amazing, right? So brand name anchors would be the, my, my brand name is here, right? So boom, boom. Boom, boom. These are all branded anchors. Uh, naked link anchors, of course, will be the exact URL. So like this or like this. Pretty simple. Uh, generic anchors will just be click here, to learn more, visit our site, see our services, all the generic stuff. Uh, partial match or long tail would be plumber in Dallas, best plumber in Dallas. So plumber in Dallas right here. Number one plumber in Dallas. So again, not the exact match. This would be the exact match, right? Um, but the variations of that keyword. And then, of course, you build links, build backlinks, sorry, with these anchors based on this rule of thumb, right? Because the thing is, if you do too many exact match anchors, you're gonna get slapped by Google. But again, if you wanna learn more about this, watch this video right here. But if you look at the, and I, of course I cannot reveal the URL, but if you look at their, their link profile, their anchor text profile, sorry, you will see that it follows, follows more or less uh, this rule of thumb right here, right? So they're, they're playing it safe, basically. Now, uh, usually, right, as, as you saw here, right, um, uh, not actually written here, but 90% of the links were link insertions or called so-called niche edits. But the other 10% were not. So what were they? Essentially, basically this stuff right here. So um, links from social media, right? Foundation links, link from my 2.0s, uh, EDU links, press releases, right? Then you can go with PBNs, which is part of a black hat technique. And then, of course, niche edits and big boy links. So 10% of the links were these ones right here. Again, not so powerful links, right? The most of the stuff went to and also the, the budget for link building went to the more powerful links, which is of course where you also use the exact match anchors because you want to make the most um, you're gonna get you want to get the most bang for your buck. Uh, does that make sense? And then in terms of link building structure, it's quite simple, right? Linking to the homepage usually links for the homepage would be uh, branded ones, okay, and um, uh, URL, right? Then linking out to the blog posts, linking to money pages, making sure these pages interlinked, of course in a way that makes sense, right, in between each other, so that the link juice flows through the pages. Very, very important, right? Right. And of course, syndicating it to social media too. That's basically, so the blueprint is quite simple, right? Get your list of keywords, right? Produce content, whether you want to use AI or not, it doesn't really matter as long as the content is high quality, right? Google doesn't care if it's AI writing it, if it's a, a dog, if it's a human, they don't care, right? As long, the only thing they care about is that if the content is high quality, right? And again, you can save time by using AI, you cannot save time by using your own hands. Up to you, right? Just create the content. I'll make sure it's valuable. Has in article images, videos, internal links, external links, right? It's good info to read, right? Then, of course, publish it. Uh, get it indexed. Uh, if it's taking a while to index, just open Google Search Console, paste in your URL, and make it. Make sure you submit it for indexing, right? Then, of course, syndicate it. Take this and post it to all your social medias, right? With a link back to the original post, of course. And then, of course, build backlinks to the published sites. And eventually, you're going to make money because your content is going to start to rank for a bunch of the keywords that you want to rank for. Though, make sure that the keywords you are running to rank for are high buying intent, right? You don't want to waste time ranking for low buying intent keywords. So again, don't just look at the traffic. I, I can't stress how important this is. Don't just look at the traffic because traffic can be a vanity metric, right? Look at the buying intent behind the search. Very, very important. Now, last thing, again, if you want to use a, a, a manual content, so if you don't want to use AI, that's okay. If you want to use AI to produce content like the one you see here, this one was produced by this little tool right here. Um, if you want a coupon code or if you want to try it out for free, click here. If you like it, click here, this little chat box, and ask the guys for a coupon, coupon code. Let them know you came from this video and say, hey, listen, I came from this video, and Vasco told me you guys are going to give me a coupon code, and they'll give, hook you up with, with a coupon code. If you want a bit more in-depth training on all this stuff that I talk about here, uh, go watch these three courses, link building, AI SEO, normal SEO. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.